Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make a delicious chocolate and walnut bread cake. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients to serve 4 people. 500 grams of flour. 120 grams of sugar. A pinch of salt. 50 grams of soft butter. 20 grams of fresh yeast. 100 mils of milk, 120 mils of cream, 1 egg, 50 grams of flour for dusting. And for the chocolate filling, 240 mils of cream, 360 grams of dark chocolate chopped, 65 grams of butter cut into cubes, 100 grams of walnuts chopped and 75 grams of butter melted. And here is a handy list with all the ingredients. You will also need the following utensils. A mixer with a hook attachment, a brush, a saucepan, a spoon, a springform pan lined with parchment, a bowl, a tea towel, a knife, a rolling pin and a rubber spatula. Step 2. Make the dough. Begin by pouring the flour into the mixer bowl. Then add the sugar, salt, butter, yeast, milk, cream, and one egg. Lower the hook attachment and slowly blend for five minutes. This process can also be done by hand if you don't have a mixer. After five minutes the dough will have formed into a ball of dough. Because it is a sticky dough, flour your hands a little to handle it better. Step 3. Allow the dough to rise. Sprinkle some more flour onto a flat surface and with the heel of your hand knead the dough for a minute or so before transferring it into a bowl. Cover it with a clean tea towel and allow it to proof, which simply means to rise, for roughly two hours in a warm kitchen. Step 4. Make the chocolate filling. Place a pan under a medium heat and allow it to warm through a little. Then pour in the cream and as soon as it comes to the boil, take the pan off the heat. Then pour the hot cream over the chopped chocolate and using your spoon, stir it in well to create a thick, creamy chocolate sauce. Start to add the butter little by little and combine very well before adding a little more. Then mix it again, almost whipping it in with your spoon and add the final batch of butter, combining it thoroughly. When fully blended, add the walnuts. Finally, let it cool down. Step 5. Punch and fill. After a couple of hours, your dough will have risen. Remove the tea towel and with your fingertips press down into the dough. Then sprinkling some flour onto a flat surface, lay down the dough. Let it rest for a few minutes. Then using a rolling pin, roll the pastry into a large circular shape, like a pizza base approximately half a centimetre in thickness. Spoon over the chocolate sauce and spread it evenly with your rubber spatula. Continue by rolling the pastry upwards, using a large knife to manage the dough better. A useful tip. Cold dough is easier to manage so place it in the fridge to cool if you wish. 
Step 6. Cut the dough. Using your large knife, cut the dough into chunky slices about 3 cm wide. And place them into a springform tin. The slices will transform into a cake. But allow it to sit for 15 minutes before baking. Step 7. Preheat the oven. While the cake is resting, set the oven to 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 4. Step 8. Bake. Before baking, brush the tops of the chocolate slices with melted butter. Then place it into the centre of the oven. And bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Step 9. Present and serve. As soon as it comes out of the oven, brush once more with the melted butter. And sprinkle some icing sugar over the top. It is now ready to serve. And that's how to make a chocolate and walnut bread cake. The Video Jug Way. Enjoy.